Welcome to Manifested Publishers. Welcome learners. My name is Stephen Kariungi. We continue with our topic of discussion, introduction to chemistry. So during the last lesson, uh, we learned about the Burns and Banner and the various parts of the Burns and Banner and their function. So today, I uh, will discuss uh, the types of flames formed by a Burns and Banner. Uh, first of all, before we look at the types of flames uh, that are formed by a Burns and Banner, it's important to uh, identify or to define what is a flame. Uh, and we say that a flame is a mass of burning gases. So when there is a mass of burning gases, we have a flame. So in this case, we can say that a flame is a mass of burning gases. There are two types of flames. And one, we have what you call a luminous flame. And this is the type of flame that is formed when the air hole is closed. Formed when the air hole of the Burns and Burner is closed using the collar. We'll see how it looks like. Then we have number two. This is called the non-luminous flame. And this is formed when the air hole is open. The air hole is open. to allow in air. So when the air is getting in, we form an unluminous flame. When there is no air getting in, we form a luminous flame. So we'll have a diagram of the two flames. So that's how a luminous flame uh, looks like. It has four zones. The outermost zone is very thin, almost not visible. It's a thin outer pale blue region. The dominant zone is the bright yellow zone. So the flame essentially looks yellow. And then at the innermost part, there is almost colorless zone. So that zone is also not visible because it's covered by the yellow zone. And then on the side, just on the top of the chimney, there is a blue zone. And this blue zone is because there are some air currents uh, getting in. And basically there, there forms a blue uh, flame. Then we'll have a, an unluminous flame. Uh, definitely this is the chimney. Also indicate that that's the chimney uh, on top of which the luminous flame forms. So you are saying that this is the flame that forms when the air hole is closed. Then we'll have a non-luminous flame.
This one is slightly smaller in size. This one has three zones. The outermost zone is pale blue. Then we have the middle. Uh, this one is blue green zone. And then we have an almost colorless zone. Inside, then of course we have the chimney there. So we have uh, the two flames there. We have the luminous flame and we have the non-luminous flame. In terms of their comparison, uh, the luminous flame is formed when the air hole is closed using the collar. Non-luminous flame is formed when the air hole is open to let in air. Uh, the luminous flame has four zones, uh, almost colorless zone, bright yellow zone, thin outer pale blue zone, and a blue zone at the bottom. Uh, the non-luminous has three zones, pale blue zone, blue-green zone, and the almost colorless zone. Uh, in terms of the size, the luminous flame is larger and wavy, a bit unstable. Non-luminous is smaller and uh, more stable. Another difference, luminous flame produces a lot of light. Uh, Non-luminous produces less light. It's almost uh, invisible. Uh, the luminous flame is less hotter, but non-luminous flame is very hot. And we can also say that luminous flame is formed when there is incomplete combustion, incomplete burning of the gas because there isn't sufficient air. But for the case of an unluminous flame, it's formed when there is complete combustion because there is sufficient amount of air. So we'll have a comparison showing the differences. Luminous has four zones. Luminous formed when air hole is closed. Non luminous formed when air hole is open. Larger the luminous and wavy or unstable because of being blown by the wind. Uh, the non-luminous is smaller and stable. Luminous produces more light. Hence, visible. Uh, non-luminous produces less light and therefore less visible um another difference 
is that uh, luminance is usually blue in color. No, sorry, is usually yellow in color. Yellow in color. Non luminous is blue in color. Uh, luminous is less hotter than an unluminous. So the non luminous is the one that is hotter. Hence, used for heating. Hence, used for heating. So basically, those are the differences uh, between the luminous and the non luminous flames of a burns and burner. We still have some, uh, one more difference. Number seven. So we have a number seven difference. So we'll have uh, seven. A uh, luminous flame, uh, because of lack of air, uh, there is incomplete combustion, and therefore it produces soot. Produces soot during burning that datifies apparatus. This is due to incomplete combustion. Uh, in the case of uh, the non-luminous, no soot is produced. Hence, suitable for heating due to complete combustion. So basically those are the differences between the, the luminous and the non-luminous flame. So we'll have an assignment. So the first question, draw a well-labeled diagram of an unluminous flame. Uh, two, why is the unluminous flame recommended for heating? So until next time, goodbye.